It's Chad here at Bay Big Palms Fishing again and we're off to X Valley Fly Fishery in Exmoor and uh, I'm just going to do a quick two fish ticket, a you know, four hour ticket because um, so we're going to go for a nice walk later on the moors so let's check this place out and see if I want to go back before I go home. Um, as it's summer, I'm starting off with this dinky little beadhead dams all there. I just think that's size 14 and uh, floating line and let's see what we can do. Oh, a few. oh mate, loaded with fish. Ho ho ho, hello. Hello. All by the inlet, there's loads of them. They're all nice stamp of fish as well, guys. It's probably about 15 fish there. I can see all these mouths going. Do I try and pick one out? What do I do? I made a decision to make a mental note of where those fish were holed up because I knew this time of year is going to be very, very challenging to catch fish. Bearing in mind we're only a few days removed from the hottest day ever recorded in the UK. So I'm just working my way around the main lake and I'm going to cast out a damsel. I later move on to dry fly and buzzer and uh, basically it is what it is. It's summer. Oh, it's crystal clear. So it's a little, so it's quite shallow where we've had the summer. So I might go to a slightly um, lighter flies because I think I'm probably dragging the weeds, which seems to be the main issue this time of year so far. But um, yeah. Let's see where we go. So as I've said before in some of my other videos guys, this is absolutely the worst time of the year for fly fishing, July and August. Really, really hard to get footage this time of year. Um, and quite a few people who normally record videos have actually packed up packed up and uh, won't be recorded until sort of September, October and I can't blame them. But oh. in the summertime and the weeds are high. I don't get anywhere with this fan casting and Arkle can't spot anything when I am gonna try and stalk some fish where they're all potted up. Ah oh, man. Oh yeah, just had a follow then. It wasn't a very big fish, but follow is a follow. saw some fish so trying to pick a part of the lake where there's not as much weed in it is definitely part of the issue this time of year absolutely lovely venue though I'm very impressed with it um, I think they supply a lot of fish around the UK X Valley quite famous and all that just where I've moved, there's fish jumping. <laughs> there we go. Might just need to change up my fly a little bit. It's quite a quite a leery damsel. 
water literally all the time. So these clear water fisheries, I know they can't do a lot about it, it is what it is this time of year. But definitely weedy. I see wakes from fish. Oh, look at that. Might just need to scale down my fly. Something a bit less scary. So yeah, definitely an issue today. Just remember, let the rod cast, don't power it. Don't need to power this. Okay. Well, we're getting a little bit more sun now, so I can actually see some fish, hopefully. So it, uh, I saw on their Facebook page that a couple of monsters did come out of here yesterday or the day before. I think uh, over a 10 pound brownie in the heat of the day, which is very unusual. Um, I seem to be having less issues with weed now I've, I've shrunk the fly down. I think that dam's had like legs on it, you know, flexi legs, which great for attraction but they're just going to literally rake up any any weed so maybe downscaling is a good move oh see a couple of fish there so as the as the um conditions change I should be able to start casting to fish that I can see oh there's a tree there summertime when the weeds are high gonna catch the trees gonna lose your fly that's when the plums will lose his mind Oh, almost. There we go. One of those things, guys. I knew the fish were here. And he snapped at that. The Chad's copper killer. Oh, hello. Sometimes he's got stalk. Oh, it's fighting well. Oh, right in the current as well. Okay, I'm just going to pass my um, ahem, replacement net. If anyone's noticed, it's not my normal net because uh, my normal net broke the other day. No comment. Oh, it's going well. Wow. There we go, one down. That's a nice fish. Oh, Chad's copper killer. One rainbow stalked. Awesome. Dude, so I've only got about half an hour left on my two fish ticket here at X Valley Fly Fishery. Um, I've captured some footage on my holidays and um, the most frustrating thing for me is I've visited some absolutely amazing small still waters, which I know outside of July and August, would fish their socks off. It's very, very hard in July and August to capture footage because um, there's a lot of hours kind of flogging away just because it is the wrong season uh, for the sport, you know. X Valley in particular, I know outside of July and August, I could just tell from the way this fish is set up, the clarity of the water and the fish that are in it, this would absolutely fish its socks off any other months of the year. So um, 
I have caught, I haven't blanked. Um, yeah, I've had to go into my box of tricks to catch, but you know, um, I don't want a negative view on these fisheries to be because of my video when it is literally just because it's July and August. I think these fisheries are awesome. I just picked a really bad time of year to come here and fish the, 